Yo, what's going on guys? Troy here, and I'm gonna walk you through an entire lean bulking day in the life. And I've actually figured out my exact calories, and by the way, my throat is really bad right now. I've been super sick the last couple days. Definitely don't feel 100%, but I'm gonna try to power through this day, get in a good workout, still get in my macros. That's what this shit's all about. Persevering through obstacles, my dad actually came to visit me and he was really sick when he came down and apparently he gave me whatever the hell he had, which is something not fun to deal with. So my throat is all hoarse and I really can't breathe at night, but nonetheless, I'm gonna power in 3,000, <coughs> excuse me, 3,380 total calories today. So I just woke up and it is about 8.30 a.m. Slept in a little bit because I feel like shit. So step number one is, well, I drank two bottles of water. This is my second bottle of water right here. I took my digestive enzymes. And let me show you the macros and what I'm eating for meal number one. So here it is. This is a little like omelet thing with three whole eggs and three ounces of grilled chicken, a cup and a half of brown rice, and about two tablespoons of olive oil. And of course I took my digestive enzyme before that. So. The total macros on this are 40 grams of protein, 70 grams of carbs, 35 grams of fat for a grand total of 755 calories. Adding in the olive oil to this meal gave it a really easy you know, 240 calories. So highly recommend if you guys are struggling to get in all your calories, just consume more olive oil and coconut oil throughout the day. So I'm going to down this meal and probably wait about 30 minutes or so, drink more water, and then I'm gonna head to the gym and do, I believe I'm doing back and biceps today. My workout schedule's been all messed up because I missed a few workouts and I was sick the last couple days, so I think I'm feeling back and bias today or potentially push and pull. Let me see how I feel in about 30 minutes, but I will see you guys in a bit. I'm gonna show you the exact pre-workout I'm taking, my little pre-workout regimen, show you some gym highlights as well. We are about to go to the gym doing a little push-pull workout, doing the Bang Master Blaster. <laughs> kind of a funny name. So, uh, since I'm not feeling very well, we'll go about 1.25 scoops. And I think I showed you this in other video, but this profile is really good. Um, 6 grams citrulline, 5 grams creatine, 2.5 grams beta-alanine. It's got, obviously, some good caffeine in it. So, so power me through my workout stick. And then what I do is I actually add about a teaspoon of tyrosine. Tyrosine helps boost your dopamine. Really important when you're trying to get a lot of work done. Helps with motivation, all that good stuff. And uh, branch chain amino acids, we're gonna add a little bit extra because I'm sick. So add about another three grams of branch chain amino acids. And we are off the gym for a little push-pull workout. From the gym did a little push and pull also worked out my arms did a really um i've never done that before where i go resistance band right after doing weight training felt really good definitely gonna keep on doing that in my arm training routine and right here is some jama juice so what i did post workout i decided to fill up on a lot of carbs so this beast right here island pitaya bowl it has let me see i already wrote it down here 100 grams of carbs right here, so perfect for post-workout. Five grams of protein, 10 grams of fat. And then for my protein, I got this from Whole Foods, really shitty protein. 
But I'm gonna do a scoop and a half of this, so it'll be 40 grams of protein. And this stuff is next level collagen, amazing for your joints, especially, like even right now I'm sick and my joints feel kind of stiff and just kind of feel shitty. So this is gonna help me with my joints. I've been trying to take this every single day for, I think I've been doing it for about the last month or so. So, <coughs> throat feels like shit. I'm gonna go relax for a little bit and then get some work done and continue pounding away the calories. So it's about an hour and a half since my last meal and I'm loading up on more carbs. So this is actually vegan macaroni and cheese. So this is 70 grams of carbs, really good. You get it at Whole Foods if anybody is lactose intolerant or you just wanna change it up and have a healthier kind of macaroni and cheese, definitely recommend this recipe. So I think it's like Daya brand, D-A-I-Y-A. -D so vegan macaroni and cheese, about a cup and a half. And we also have three and a half ounces of grilled chicken. So some healthy grilled chicken and macaroni and cheese. So for the day, we're at 115 grams of protein, 245 grams of carbs, and 65 grams of fat. So gonna try to get in the rest of my macros for the day, I would say in two meals and probably one snack. So about 4.30 right now, and I will see you guys on the next meal. All right guys, I am back and very hungry. So this meal is really boring, I kind of, Forgot to buy groceries yesterday and I barely have any food laying around, so I was able to muster up. As you can see, it's about, um, so this is leftover salmon, so it's about three ounces of salmon and two ounces of grilled chicken. And then I put a bunch of olive oil all over about a cup and a half of brown rice. You guys a nice little angle there. And then I'm gonna finish it up with some pineapple chunks, so. Keeping it pretty clean and pretty healthy, so. This is gonna get me up to 150 grams of protein, 345 grams of carbs, and 90 grams of fat total for the day. So I got about 50 grams of protein left, about 50 grams of carbs, and about 10 grams of fat. So got about one meal left. I'm gonna get some work done here, pound down some salmon, some brown rice, some chicken, some pineapple. And once again, I'm gonna make sure I take my digestive enzymes so my body can absorb all these nutrients. All right guys, just got back from doing a little bit of work. It is about 12.30 a.m. And I got a few little snacks here when I was doing some work. I got chocolate coconut water, one of my favorite things to drink after a hard day of workouts. And then I had a peanut butter cream power crunch bar. Just kind of quick, easy snacking on the go. So that brought me up to 165 grams of protein, 400 grams of carbs, and 100 grams of fat. So my last meal of the day is kind of, uh, I would say not very typical at all for me. I have this kind of like soup thing <laughs> that I got from my girlfriend's mom, I guess she made it. <laughs> and I think it's, uh, what is this called? Chow. Chow. They actually make fun of us in the movie The Hangover. So it's like rice and shrimp and fish and carrots and potatoes. So I have about 200 calories left or so. I'm probably gonna be a little bit under my protein quota of the day of 200 grams, but I'll be over on my carbs and a little bit over on my fat. So this has some good quality protein though, some shrimp and I guess there's some fish floating in there somewhere. So this is gonna be my last meal of the day and I'm gonna try to get some good sleep because my throat is really uh, raspy right now. <laughs> so I'm um, going to pound down some chow and go to bed. So thank you so much for watching. If you want to see more of these complete day in the life videos, let me know in the comments below. And if you're looking for more tips on how to bulk up and gain lean muscle mass, check out weightgainmethod.com. Thanks guys.